In May this year, I went out on a night session for the 10 to the local club water uh, in the hope of catching myself a PB. My previous PB was just over four pounds, um, and I've been told by match anglers that the tension this late grow to five pound maximum, which I didn't really believe, so I thought I'd try and disprove that. Um, and basically, here's how I got them. I used simple corn rigs to catch the fish. Just thought I'd show you the rig that I had that fish on. Got some lead core leader here, about sort of 75 centimetres of it. Little leg clip, a uh, one and a half ounce lead, I think. And then my rig is about six, seven inches long, coated braid to about uh, two inches from the hook, and then the braid strip, bra strip back. And then I've got a little yellow pop up which I've cut down, uh, size eight barbless uh, curved shank hook and a little shot just uh, about a centimetre from the hook so the bait's going to be suspended above the above the bottom because it's a little pop up uh, and that had that caught me the bream just then and that's uh, fished over a bed of corn um, so yeah that's uh, that looked like a good spot that's over to my that's on my right hand rod over to the tip of some pads and so yeah I'll get this back out and um, I'll show you my other rig a bit later if I get a fish or I'm having a recast in about 25 minutes something like that so I'll show you it then anyway I'll get this one back out and hopefully bag another one right here is rig number two uh, same sort of leg core thing, 75 about 75 centimetres. Leg clip, one and a half ounce lead. Now the rig's slightly different. Uh, this time it's uh, supple braid, not coated braid. And then I've got some shrink tube there, just to kick that hook out, give it an aggressive angle. And then I've got that on a bit of silicon tubing there, just uh, to make it a blowback. So it'll blow back like that. And then uh, I've got three grains of fake corn. The top one is floating and the other two are sinking. So that will sit on the bottom. Because imagine my thumb's the bottom. That will sit on the bottom like that. So I'll just stand out a bit more than the other grains of corn around it. And uh, hopefully entice a take, which it hasn't done yet. But um, I'm feeling reasonably confident with this one. Uh, the hook's a size 7 curved shank. Uh, with a micro barb on there. Um, so yeah, I'll get this one out and hopefully get a fish on that one too. Unfortunately, the night was uneventful with only a couple of bream, but as morning came, the tench started to come onto the feed. It's been a pretty unproductive night. Uh, I've had three bream in total um, and missed a couple of runs as well. Uh, but it's about seven o'clock in the morning now, and uh, actually, I've had four bream. But um, anyway, and I just had this nice little tench. Uh, I gave a bit of a bream bite actually, I thought it was going to be another bream, just a really sort of slow up and down movement on the bobbin. But a nice little tench, probably about two pounds. So uh, yeah, that was on the corn rig, which I showed you yesterday. So yeah, get this one slipped back and uh, possibly get another one. After the success, I cast the rod back out and merely 10 minutes later, the rod was off again. Well, look at this, absolutely gorgeous fish. Lovely scrap. Uh, same rod that went off last time uh, on the left hand spot which is over to the reeds and this is my new PB by a long way it's £6.5 ounces absolutely lovely tench beating my PB by £2.5 
it's a female. Yep. Uh, really nice dark fish. It's got a bit of a red belly as well. If you can see that. Yeah. So yeah, cool. really gorgeous fish. Get some pictures and then we'll get them slid back. It's been quite a strange session. Uh, I haven't had much action at all in the night. Uh, I had four bream since I got here at about five o'clock yesterday. Um, and then in the morning, this morning, I've had a little two pound tench and then that lovely big six pound five ounce tench. Uh, so, tench obviously just come on the feed in the morning and uh, all the fish have been on the corn rig. I uh, only had one fish on the right hand rod on the pop up, so I switched that to a corn stack rig as well, but it hasn't picked anything up. Uh, so I've had all, all the other fish on the, on the left hand rod to the reeds, but at the moment I'm just in a little stalking spot. I've just got one rod and the bait runner. Um, I prepared a, chucked a bit of bait over and this nice little channel between the pads um, yesterday evening and put a bit more in early on this morning. Uh, so I'll just stay in here for 20 minutes or something and then go back to the to the swim where Tom is. He's, uh, he hasn't managed anything yet. He's been unlucky really. He's had a couple of, of runs which uh, probably bream haven't accounted for anything, probably small fish because he's using quite big hook baits uh, so they probably can't fit, uh, fit the hook bait in their mouth. But, um, yeah, I'm feeling hopeful for another bite, maybe not in the sulking spot, but definitely when I go back to my swim and put my uh, corn rig back on the uh, reedy spot. So, yeah, I'll uh, catch you a bit later. Well, it took about five or ten minutes, but I had a fish out of the sulking spot. Gave a nice little twitch and then the bite, uh, bait runner started to go again on the corn stack same rig as I showed you before. I'm going to head back, I'll show you the fish quickly in a minute. I'm going to head back to my main swim now to get my tench rod back out hopefully bag another nice tench. It's a nice dark bream actually. Anyway, let's get him back in the water. There he goes. for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, look out for more videos that should be coming soon throughout this summer holidays.